America Meditating Radio Show, we collect wisdom, inspire each other, and empower hearts 24-7. Hi, I'm Sister Jenna. Join me and guest on Blog Talk Radio as we amplify stories that compel us to be more for ourselves and everyone else around us. The entire world wants. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And humanity saw that the sky was not the limit. Achievement. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Do you like to meditate? Have you tried to meditate? Have you struggled with meditation? Why don't you visit one of the Brahma Kumaris Meditation Center? Visit brahmakumaris.org. Are you in need of a tech service company that's going to deliver the best solutions for your business? Then Atronica is your solutions headquarters. Here we specialize in your individual needs to make sure your business shines. For more information, please call 301-417-0070 or visit us at our website at atronica.net. Atronica, where we deliver for you. Are you stressed, frustrated, or annoyed at work? You don't have to be. Soothe your mind and open your heart as Sister Jenna guides you through a peaceful, calming meditation that will prepare you to focus, be present, and most importantly, bring you back to your inner peace. The Meditation Museum in Silver Spring, Maryland offers a variety of courses and activities to make your life go a whole lot smoother. Located at 9525 Georgia Avenue, you will be able to experience the beautiful silence that's in the space. There are courses in Raj Yoga Meditation, Positive Thinking, Stress-Free Living, and Personal Development classes. For more information, call us at 301-588-0144 or visit us online at meditationmuseum.org. Hi, my name is Missy Crutchfield with Gandhi's Bee Magazine, online magazine designed to raise awareness and inspire people about all of the amazing things happening in the world, as well as all the challenging things that can help us raise awareness so we can make a difference in the world and be the change. One of my inspirations is Sister Jenna and America Meditating Radio. I listen, you should too. Hey everybody, it's John DuPerrin from Project Forgive. How are you doing? You are in the right place. For the highest level of conversation to feed your soul, American Meditating with Sister Jenna. Stay with us. A tiny flower breaks a stone, her roots connected far below. She drinks the power of the sun A testament to anyone Who's taken on what seems to be Immovable With faith to launch a thousand stars a comet straight to Mars When all opposed refuse to see And say that it will never be Collective mind and one belief Impossible Quiet way unseen by eyes Who seek to shine a neon light The gentle, strong, insistent flow Of one who says they do not know But understand and show in ways remote Oh, 
What a beautiful song, A Love Song of a Tiny Flower by Lucinda Drayton. Hello, everyone. This is America Meditating Radio, and you're listening to Sister Jenna. And we're always happy when you can join us because I know that now, perhaps more than ever, you have a multitude of choices where you'd like to spend the next 30 minutes of your life. And I think it it really empowers us as well as humbles us that um, you're willing to take the time to share in these conversations and continue to just uh, grow alongside with us. I don't know what's in the atmosphere. Is it just because spring and everything has got to be blossoming and opening up? But my friends, I've been going through such an interesting few days. I mean, from surprise guests hopping in like six or seven, which you can't say no to because they're from out of town, to restructuring schedules and calendars, to the meditation museum's building being vandalized, the whole building, and somebody breaking in, and having a global meeting that got postponed two hours, had a hundred countries on standby. It's just been interesting to my assistant messing up with the tech for no reason and not making it work because that was working yesterday. And you know what? I have to tell you, I could feel like a trace in me wanting to be like, what is going on? But my better part is like, you know, what can you do? It's just nothing that I could do. And felt like I didn't want anyone to feel bad, especially on a day where we've got so much going on. So what I'm learning is stuff is going to come and stuff is going to go. And even the part of you might be like the old way or the old paradigm of responding is to yell or scream or to attack someone. But in all reality, it's just not that. And I you know, have to turn and I remember turning to Antonia and go, do I have permission to kind of throw someone off the planet? But yet inside feeling very playful, like, no, I won't never put harm to anyone's life. But just such an interesting time. And I believe this with all of my inner being. It's the work that I've been doing for all these years. And I'm telling you this, I want to even do more work and more work and more work so that I don't feel any of the stuff that's going on in our world. If you're like me and you're following the political campaign, I know it's been quite interesting and many of us have really been just meditating and sending the best possible vibrations to say, wow, we have got to shift this. Something has got to give. Something must emerge that we can be civil and mature and keep maintaining the dignity of our country and the virtuosity that still exists in our country. So with that said, you must have heard Donald's uh, response about anti-abortion and that women should be punished if they do abortions. And I'm like, am I in the free world or did I miss something whilst I was away in India on the mountaintop and I'm okay with freedom of speech I mean it's not a woman already in a very emotionally challenging time 
when she finds herself in that particular scene in her life where it is uncomfortable within itself. So is she not inside of herself already going through hardship, much less someone that's running for president is going to say women now who have to go through these scenes must be punished even on top of that. I leave this for you to percolate on because I think America Meditating Radio is about us being able to remain open and engage in these conversations without judgment. And even though as I share this with you, subtly I'm like, I don't think that's an appropriate way of thinking about anyone. But the question is, what's wrong with women and this particular person's point of view towards the way that we choose to lay out our role as souls in female bodies? Has he any idea that he's going to take birth at some point and be a woman at some point? And that's my belief system. I believe that every living human being has inside of them recorded male and female impressions of what we call in Sanskrit, sanskars. So we are souls and we are playing out a part through the body. And if my part is as a man, I model the qualities that supply that particular role or express that particular role. And if I'm born as a woman, then I begin to express certain qualities that symbolizes that. So my call to everyone today is let us keep holding this sincerity and intent. We've got a big surprise coming up in April for all of you, and we're going to really be turning the lines to you to support this in such a massive way, because I think it's in our hands in terms of where our consciousness is when we make serious decisions for our lives, let alone for one day, but a month, four years, eight years, and for the rest of history. You're listening to America Meditating Radio. Let us take some time now to go into our meditation, what I like to do here on the air, one of my favorite pastimes. And, you know, I do have like a really a lot of beautiful meditations, but I know that I tend to kind of stay with some of them that speak very deeply to our viewers and as well to myself and to many of us. And more than anything else, I think we just appreciate knowing that we're in this together and that together we're going to make good on all of this, this whole game of life, you know, this whole thing on life. We're going to do well. Breathe in deeply, relax. Let's go into our meditation. Experimenting with these exercises, one is able to discover the sweetness and the beauty that lies in knowing the self. The more I know myself, the more I'm able to maintain the awareness of my true identity and move away from all the different compartments and limitations that I have imposed on myself. The image that we generally have of ourselves is a fairly negative one. But that's simply because we don't know who we are. And so we allow external influences to restrict our thinking and put us into boxes and create bondages and feel the pain of those bondages. Meditation is the method of liberation, of becoming free, from the false impositions that I have created for myself and I have accepted in terms of what the world has imposed. It is important to experiment with these ideas, sitting quietly, in solitude, in silence within. However, it is equally important to experiment with these concepts during our day-to-day activity. Having had a glimpse of the identity of the self, then, when it's time to leave my little corner of meditation and move into the world outside, I must learn to maintain this awareness of being a point of light, using the physical instrument to look out into the world, using the lips to express my thoughts and ideas, 
to communicate with others. Being the master. Listening to the information that I receive. But being the master. Deciding. Discerning. What it is which has value. What it is that will enhance my own awareness. Retaining that information, communicating that information, but also being able to filter out that which will pollute my mind, that which will cause my feelings to become corrupt, so that I maintain the integrity of this experience of eternal consciousness. Both things are aligned together. My time in silence, experiencing the eternity of the self, but using this awareness in my day-to-day activity. If through the day I maintain this awareness, then whenever there is a moment at which actions can finish, I could turn inwards and come to the state of Om Shanti and the awareness of Om Shanti the awareness of peace is also then expressed through the work that I do during the day Om Shanti Welcome back. That was Dream Weaver by Gary White, one of our very good brother friends and brother souls. And I hope you enjoyed the meditation by Sister Genti on being so conscious. Nowadays, more than ever, we are needing to really be more into our zone of power so that we're not at all being 
deceived by not only our own stories and our own past, but even deception from the stories of other people. We were having a chit-chat, and I was sharing with Antonia, mind your affairs and fix your inner world where you are so powerful that it doesn't impact you, that we are really able to strengthen our resolves and strengthen our stories. And regardless if one of our fellow brothers and sisters on the journey is not in their most divine sense of self, then that's okay. That is going to be okay. Thank you for joining us today, my friends. I hope that you'll be able to keep us in your hearts and minds. And I think the more we share well wishes and good feelings, the greater the life becomes. I'd love for you to participate on the Twitter handle, America Meditate, and our Facebook at America Meditating. I do occasionally write articles on Huffington Post, and they tend to cover certain current issues. And as you have known, I've been very involved with what's going on in the political climate and wanting to bring the best of ourselves as a country and as a nation and as a people into the conversation, not taking sides. My part is to just see how we can amplify our divinity in this process. If we are are progressing as a people, as a nation, and as a world. I believe the sign of progress is the increased presence of virtues that are reeking through our personality. Good behavior, manners, royalty, dignity of spirit, and a very high character. Remember, no one can take away your happiness unless you give them permission. We are here to love each other the same. I'm hoping that we will. Take care, everyone. We'll end today with Ashe Ashe from our friends at Agape Spiritual Center and Ricky Baez Beckwith. Take care. Ashe Ashe, my life is good.